Hey, what's up guys and girls? Welcome back. This is your girl Kenzo for Life and today we're taking a look at everyone's favorite hypnotist. You guessed it, Nyx Prime. Now Nyx Prime was vaulted during update 17 or 18 I believe so you can no longer get her without the appropriate relics. So without further ado, let's take a look at my girl Nyx Prime. Alright, welcome back guys. So we're going to be talking about NYX Prime. Now, NYX Prime, you can only uh, get from the appropriate relics and from the trading uh, tab. You cannot get NYX out of the marketplace anymore because of the vault. Uh, NYX was vaulted during update 17 or 18, I believe. So, uh, you can no longer get a NYX from the marketplace. You have to get it from the appropriate uh, relics and also uh, from the trading tab. So, if you have a buddy... Who got an extra set you definitely want to uh hit him up so that he can you know uh, help you out as far as getting a next prime because uh having a next prime is definitely crucial to having uh Nix in your arsenal. She is the telekinetic uh, powerhouse. Um, she basically controls everything with her mind. She has extremely good crowd control because of that uh, particular reason. So you definitely want to have a Nix uh, in your arsenal as I slam these dudes in the face. That is ridiculous. I just slam. Wow. Slam again. Die. Die and like it. So let's talk about uh, Nyx's abilities. Now for first ability, uh, mind control is definitely very useful if you want uh, to take control of your enemies, uh, particularly heavy gunners, uh, bombards. You definitely want to mind control those dudes uh, in order to uh, get them to be on your side uh, and fight with you instead of against you. Uh, you definitely want to use uh, mind control in order to achieve that. So let's talk about Nix's second ability, psych Psychic Pulse. Now the Psychic Pulse um, are des not necessarily for damage, they're basically utility. Um, they're basically, it's basically designed uh, for you to be set up for your third ability which is the Chaos. Now uh, Chaos is an extremely uh, good ability to have in a sticky situation. Um, she um, is able to turn uh, her enemies against them against themselves and that's really a good thing to have um, if you want a good uh, crowd control character. Um, they're basically fighting each other and no longer fighting you. Uh, so that's definitely a really good thing uh, to have. Um, now we're going to talk about the fourth ability. Now I know I'm going to get a lot of flack and a lot of uh, comments about the assimilate. Uh, but I have an ethos about assimilate. Firstly, Nyx does not need assimilate in order to be uh, extremely deadly. Uh, she does not need assimilate to do that. I just feel that assimilate basically slows her down to uh, one shot everything. And then it's like, well, what do you do now? What's next? You know, you don't have, there's no... Uh, where else for you to go with the character and uh, that's just not it makes the character boring at that point you know it's so overpowered uh, that it makes the character boring so I uh, do not use assimilate uh, for uh, her absorbability uh, I basically focus on power strength and efficiency um, to achieve uh, the things that you that you're looking at now I'm just basically slamming these dudes in the face um, as they as they do my bidding <laughs> uh, so you definitely want to have those things in place um, I'd also like to give a shout out to Xbox, one Xbox One Legend Angel of Legends and Gamer Girl for their participation in the video um, I appreciate it guys you just don't know how um, I appreciate it uh, Angel is using a Valkyrie Prime uh, which I am going to cover in a future title um, Gamer Girl is using the Saren Prime um, which is another uh, crowd control powerhouse and uh, my boy uh, one Xbox One Legend is using the Ember Prime so uh, thank you guys so much for your participation in the video and uh, now we're going to go on uh, to the builds um, I have the Vacor Marilock, uh, the Vacor Heck, and the War. Um, so, yeah, so we're gonna go on to the build.
They don't stand a chance. Look at that. They don't stand a chance. Let's go on to the bills, ladies and gentlemen. Speaks for itself. Hey, welcome back, guys. So, we're going to be talking about the war. Now, the war is the sword that you get from the second dream quest from the stalker. Um, I don't want to ruin it for you guys, uh, for all you newer players who haven't had a chance to do uh, the second dream quest. But just know uh, that you get this amazingly powerful sword uh, from the stalker. So, uh, what I'm using is Temple Royale, Berserker, Focus Energy, Shock touch fever strike true steel rending strike and prime pressure point now I will be swapping out rending strike and true steel for either blood rush or body counts or buzz kill and blood rush uh, what you kind of want is you want that critical chance multiplier and that combo multiplier uh, to be exponentially going up and up hey guys welcome back so now we're gonna be talking about the war um, I have temple royale on my war um, the berserker shocking touch rending strike prior pressure point focus energy fever strike and true steel I'm definitely gonna swap out true steel and rending strike for either blood rush and body count or blood rush and buzz kill because I want that slash damage and I also want uh, the duration and combo multiplier uh, for the critical chance to be exponentially higher so I definitely want to swap out those two mods uh, but you do get this incredibly powerful sword uh, from the second dream quest line um, from uh the stalker um or you can wait for barrel to come and he brings the stalker beacons and you can call the stalker and get this incredibly powerful sword um so um to each his own however you see fits a mod uh this particular uh, sword you definitely want to have a war uh, the war is probably one of the most powerful swords in the game um, So you definitely want to grab yourself one of these uh, incredibly powerful swords What's up guys, so uh, I'm going to be talking about the Vaycor Marilock. Now the Vaycor Marilock you get from the Steel Meridian, um, so you definitely want to kiss up to that lady uh, to get this uh, hand cannon, is what I call it, it's a hand cannon. Um, it's an awesomely powerful pistol, so you definitely want to get that from Steel Meridian. Uh, what I have is Hornet Strike, Barrel Diffusion, and Lethal Torrent, which are must-haves. Uh, you have to have those three particular mods uh, to get the maximum potential out the mirror lock uh, that you want. Um, I actually have Scorch, Convulsion, Pistol, Pestilence, and Deep Freeze, you know, because, uh, you, like I said, you can swap out uh, for your opponents uh, however you see fit, but I just like uh, the damage output uh, that I get from those particular four elements, so that's why I put that on my uh, Vacor mirror lock. As you can see, my Vacor mirror lock uh has two form on it uh so i've changed the polarity so that i can get the maximum potential uh out of this hand cannon uh that i call uh the maker of baker mirror lock so you definitely want to have uh this in your arsenal um it's definitely a really good pickup uh from the steel meridian so definitely hit her up Okay guys, welcome back. So now I'm going to talk about the next build itself. Um, I have Corrosive Projection, Coaction Drift, Prime Flow, Prime Continuity, Overextended Stretch, Streamline, uh, Redirection, Fleeting Expertise, and the Chaos Sphere Augment mod. As I said in the video, I do not have an Assimilate build uh, because um, I just won't build it quite frankly. Um, so um, I definitely, uh, like I said, I use overextended uh, to compensate for fleeting expertise, uh, but Prime Flow and Prime Continuity definitely achieve that as well as Streamline because you want to focus on power, strength, and efficiency uh, when you are building a next 
uh, Chaos Sphere next, um, and that's what I've achieved here, as you saw in the gameplay. Um, so uh, definitely get these four mods. If you don't have the Chaos Sphere, Chaos Sphere mod, Chaos Sphere mod, you get uh, from uh, Steel Meridian. That lady, she definitely has the right stuff, really. Uh, all right, guys. So. Give me a like, give me a comment, give me a share, give me a subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. I'll be the Zane.